Hi Aries, this is your weekly reading. This reading will run from September 1st through the 7th. I decided to shuffle on camera just because. Um, anyhow, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Please do. Please do. If you can't purchase readings, do what is free. Subscribe to the channel. All right? Comment below. Okay, so how Aries is coming into the week. All right. Outside influence energy for Aries or surrounding Aries. Who or what is helping Aries? Wow, the Hierophant. I think Aquarius had that in that same position. And how Aries ends the week. How will Aries end the week? The Five of Cups. Okay. All right, let's see. What are the supporting cards for Aries? What is Aries going through, dealing with this week? Okay, it's supposed to be two, well, only two, but... We've got three cards all right so how aries comes into the week the star some of you could be dealing with aquarius we have aquarius in your chart some of you are just feeling like you're on the right path this is right for me is what i'm hearing for aries the outside influence energy around you is the six of cups wow okay the supporting cards are get some rest end of an era and hobbies okay so for some of my aries it looks like you're on the right path in regards to maybe transitioning uh your earned income sector what how what you do how you make money uh some of you are like the hierophant you give good advice you have like some long uh some long history some with uh, maybe fortune telling um something of that nature psychic abilities because we got six of cups here it's in your um system the six talks about systems and and sense of usefulness some of you feel like you're on the right path like whatever you're doing you might be a healer also if not um, a spiritual healer or there's some spiritual element to whatever it is you do you may be in the healthcare pro you know profession where you do your healing but there's like um some long-standing psychic abilities you you talk to the dead you do something they're clairvoyant, clair, clair Audison, clair this, clair Huxtable. I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> not funny. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, it's something that you do that is unique to yourself. It's finally resonating with you that this is my path. This is where I belong. I need to cultivate this. I need to put more energy, effort, time into it because this just fits for me. It is healthy for me to pursue this. Uh, yeah, there's a sense of usefulness uh, here in your life for this thing. You then, at the end of the week, end your week with stagnation, five of cups. You end your week with knowing that things are changing around you. They must change, but hesitating to make real changes, to make decisions. Uh, looking at those three cups and saying, uh, I don't know, you know, I've tried this before. Or I'm not sure this is my right path. Not knowing that you have two cups behind you. This is a successful union. This marries you 
are dynamically and specifically and perfectly. Uh, there's an end of an era here to how maybe you make money or to what you do in your life. You may even be contemplating going into a new sector in regards to career or monetizing some hobby. Some hobby gives good outlet. It gives, I'm hearing karmic release uh, or like your karma is good in regards to that. Get some rest. Some of you are sleeping but not resting. Some of you are going, going, going. You're either in school, you're either at a job or a corporation, a lot of hours. Some of you spend a lot of hours in regards to traveling back and forth to the job. Um, once again, I think some of you need to make peace with the fact that um, you might need to move towards something that marries you perfectly. Some of you are resting and dwelling in the fact that um, on this spiritual journey that you have been on or, or that you are on, uh, you're finding a lot of clarity within yourself. You're finding a lot of self-acceptance. I'm here and even with the physical, with your aesthetics. At one point, maybe you were not accepting of how you look. Uh... Now you are accepted. Some of you need to work on health, um, well-being, fitness. Uh, you have fitness here with these two sixes, health and fitness. It's not that you're not satisfied with yourself. It's just more so an improvement. Some of you need to work on routine and regimen. Some of you need to get under some spiritual guidance, like someone who's a guru, someone who's higher than you, maybe even going to someone and learning something here. The Hierophant. Uh, Aries. Let's see. Let's pull one card on this Five of Cups. And then let's go ahead and close this out. The Magician. Yeah. So hesitating before making those decisions that you know you need to make, that are necessary to make, but you have all tools necessary to do this. You also know, you, you have an inner knowing, you have the idea that I can do, or you have the idea of starting, of, of, of being fresh and new in something. It's just about you cultivating all of those energies, pulling them all together, and playing your cards right. The Magician talks about uh, what you do in order. Hierophant talks about in order. Um, you know you want to start something, monetize a hobby here. Uh, make sure you do things in order. If it's that you want to start a card detailing business. I don't know where this is coming from. Um, you know... A mobile car detailing business or whatnot then you probably need cards you probably need maybe a web page you don't even need a full website but uh, what you don't need is um, a big storefront uh, a big office because hence the key word in that is mobile mobile uh, car detailing uh, play your cards right. Make sure you're doing things in order. Maybe a physical location will come down the line. But make sure you do something in order. Um, get things in order. Paperwork. People. Things that will put you on that right path to starting. Okay? Some of you have got somebody coming back. They're going to resurface. They're going to put you in that five of cups position they may have it could be a cancer person um yeah that you had a relationship with uh they have cancer in their chart this could be a person that's coming back and saying they're in control now they have gotten gained control over something or 
or some aspect of their life. You end with the Five of Cups and the Magician. Uh, if it's in regards to this person, they're really trying to play their cards right with you because you're more so stuck on the fact that things didn't turn out well the last go round. Um, they may have had you in a third party situation. It was a lot of drama, childishness, games, uh, mind games, pro just problems all together. So this person may be trying to play their cards right with you. Okay, Aries, we're going to go over to the other side and clarify um, if this is a person coming back. If this is a, a, an endeavor, a, a venture that you're trying to start, then um, we're going to see what that says for you also. Aries, I hope that this reading resonated with you, for you, that you gained a bit of clarity. Uh, do know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Um, yes, Aries. Take care. Bye.